the largest Clone Wars tank invasion battle is commencing. With hundreds of battle droid army vehicles competing against hundreds of clone trooper vehicles. It's all out Armageddon on the plains of Naboo. But only one will come out the victor. What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we are back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2 the Star Wars Galaxy at War Mod, and we find ourselves on a massive planes battlefield here with the Battle Droid Army over here with hundreds of tanks. That includes Tri Droids, Homing Droids, AATs, uh, I forget what AMTs, I think, are what these are, Super Tanks, uh, Gat Tanks. Heckfire droids, we got dwarf spiders, we've got stap tanks, we've got it all for the Confederacy. And then for the Republic over here, uh, we have some of these uh, Falcons, we have some of these ATTEs, we've got the uh, hover tanks, we've got UTMTs, we've got TX 130Ts, we've got big old Chungai Fungi turbo tanks. Again, just basically every vehicle in both armies arsenal here going up against each other hundreds for each it's absolute armageddon is what this battle is going to be it's going to be so 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 cool so if you guys enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button let's try and get 800 likes in the first 24 hours it helps me out a ton on the channel subscribe if you haven't already we're working our way towards 400,000 subscribers and we are super duper close and comment down below if you'd like to see more battles like this in the future also, there's one random droid here. Goodbye, you you are not part of this battle. This is tank only battle, baby. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing going. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go ahead and press start right here let me know who you think is gonna win this battle because i genuinely don't know that was a very large lag spike but hopefully the rest of this battle isn't too laggy here um yeah i don't know i did give the uh droids oh let's go in slow-mo for just the start here uh, i did give the droids more units and that's because the clone tanks are just vastly superior to the droid tanks uh, they are a lot stronger it's sort of that classic quantity over quality uh, thing that we see from the Clone Wars quite a bit with the CIS often going for quantity and the Republic often going for quality. So uh, the clones may have less tanks, but they have better tanks. Uh, but I do think it is a fairly even battle what we're going to be seeing here and either side could easily win. We got bark speeders getting split in half here. Their crews get bailed out, but then run over from this gat tank over here, which is absolutely bum rushing these ATRTs along with its snail tank brother over this way. Uh, they're trying their best to kill some of these TX-130Ts as well. I would honestly just ignore the uh, <laughs> the little ATRTs. They go for the bigger tanks right now because the ATRTs are bound to go down. This one actually is just getting nudged around. Oh, it's gonna topple. Oh, she going down. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the ATRTs are honestly probably the lamest thing on the battlefield, and they'll just die from residual explosions and things like that. Let me go ahead and see if I can turn up the fog of war. One second. Okay, there we go. That is a whole lot better right there. We can see a lot farther in this battlefield. And with so many tanks on the battlefield, we're going to want to see as far as we possibly can. There's a little bit of clone trooper infantry on the ground right now, bailed out from bark speeders or ATRTs. Uh, but I have a feeling they're going to get clapped pretty quickly on here. This TX 130T is going for a complete and utter bum rush of the battle droid lines over here. I can't say that's a very good idea. Ooh, and the gunner gets shot out by one of the homing droids right there. It's just going deep, man. Its shields are holding up a little bit, but it is getting so heavily targeted that it's bound to be going down pretty soon here. I don't know. I'm kind of in. I'm invested in this crusade of this tx 30 t right here. It's just going deep. It's not even doing any damage. It's just chilling right there. My goodness. It is 
complete lame duck at that uh, that distance right there. We do have some of these big boys riding on in here. Yes, and, and the bigger boys are even farther back here. We got ATTEs as well as uh, the turbo tanks all the way back here. Uh, basically providing a lot of cover fire from the very back. Almost acting as if they are artillery. Oh, there goes one of the saber tanks right there. Um, I believe they're either called saber tanks or falchions. Um, or falcons or something like that is the two names for those tanks. They're, they're very cool. Super tank up here bursts into flames, and that is impressive, actually, because super tanks are incredibly difficult to kill, especially in this mod. They are actually a struggle to defeat on the battlefield. We just have a ton of tri droids and homing droids and stuff like that out way over here. Um, not really doing much either. They're not even acting as like artillery or anything along those lines. They're just kind of chilling. Uh, hopefully they get involved in this battle relatively soon. Gat tank firing out this way uh, as the Republic continues to push the middle very, very heavily right here. The Republic seems to really, really want this land over this way um, and the droids are definitely conquering uh, the left and right sides around here uh, while the middle is definitely falling to the Republic currently at the very least. We're not really seeing many more uh, Hailfire droid shots. Uh, you can see where the the fire from them just sort of clapped the ground all over the place like a Nebelwerfer but as of right now it seems like those things have gone silent on the battlefield after just getting destroyed by the Republic lines pretty early on. Let's go into normal speed here. Um, the Republic continues to just sort of bum rush into the lines of the CIS here. Look at this. This bad Larry's doing 360s. Oh, we do have some sort of uh, Nebuvufa-esque fire going on. That might be from the super tanks. Uh, snail tank blowing up over this way. AAT's blowing up over this way. More saber tank. Or sorry, snail. No, those are super tanks. Not snail tanks. Not saber tanks. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but they are way deep in here, and actually they just fired some rockets into their own lines. What are you doing? ATXT going deep in here as well, uh, but it gets crushed by the weight of the power of the CIS. The CIS is certainly losing more vehicles than the Republic at a more rapid pace. However, they do have so many more reserves than the Republic do currently, so they're able to continuously send in more and more vehicles, while the Republic is sort of depleting its arsenal pretty promptly here uh, as the battle continues to go on. Uh, although they do have this just nasty little firing line back here. I think a lot of the Republic vehicles are very good at just sort of playing the back lines and almost acting as if artillery um, for the rest of their army. Meanwhile, the CIS uh, tanks and things like that, they have to get a little bit closer. The only two that I can really think of I guess three that tend to act as artillery in the back are the AATs, which don't even do that that often, uh, but also the Heckfire droids, which are literally mobile artillery, and the super tanks. But the rest really have to get in and uh, nitty gritty, you know, down and dirty in these battles to actually make any sort of a dis difference um, in the playing field. So, you know, we, we are seeing that with a lot of the CIS uh, vehicles having to go very, very close up to the Republic arsenal in order to actually kill any of them. Meanwhile, the Republic can just sort of sit back and take out the CIS as they move closer to them, uh, giving the Republic more time to get more shots off on the CIS, which is really why the CIS needs to have hefty numbers in order to make a difference. I think this super tank over here might be dead. I think a lot of the super tanks are actually dead, which is really, really impressive on the Republic's part because those things require a lot of fire to take out. Uh, we've got more of the ATTEs and turbo tanks trying to come forward here. It is a bit of a tank graveyard, which makes, uh, you know, navigating a little bit tough. They, they really don't put the all-terrain in all-terrain vehicle for the ATTEs. No sorry, they're pretty bad at that. But it is what it is, dude. Mainly just homing droids left alive for the CIS. Um, I don't know why, but these things just never really got heavily targeted during this battle as of yet. Um, TX 130T's over here getting absolutely bullied by them. This one is on fire. I expect it to go down relatively soon here from the incoming fire from these things. So that ATXT is on fire too. Even the Republic is starting to burn through its vehicles pretty quickly now. Or at least it's bound to pretty soon. Um, these home droids, they're just not getting targeted. Well, a couple of them are, but not many. What is up with that? I don't know why the homing droids just really don't get targeted by the Republic very much. <laughs> I love how half of the vehicles on the battlefield are just on fire and their sirens are wailing. 
<laughs> it's just really funny to me. There's just no one on the battlefield right now who isn't that. Um, yeah, it's almost all homing droids that are still alive. Is the Republic even firing at them? Okay, I'm wondering if there's a glitch with the homing droids. Because I don't think the Republic's firing at them at all. But the homing droids are firing at the Republic. So at least there's that? <laughs> yeah, I think the game has bugged a little bit. Um, as of right now, I mean, the Republic has so many more units on the battlefield. If you look at the top left, um, blue are Republic units, red are droid units, and, and the Republic has just so many more units than, <laughs> than the CIS uh, on this battlefield. But I want to run it back real quick. I want to run it again. Uh, and I want to do this, first of all, I think without homing droids, although the Republic is just now starting to fire at them a little bit. Because um, there's got to be some sort of bug with the homing droids. But also just giving the droids more vehicles in general. I think they do need more vehicles to balance this battle out a little bit more. So, let's run it back. Alright, so this time I took out the vast majority of the homing droids. I still kept a few at the front lines, uh, just because they're, they're fun to have in the battle. And I think the Republic was just targeting them less for some reason. I'm not totally sure. We'll see if that glitch persists, but um, replace the ones that were back here with more AATs and more Hellfire droids. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this goes. Cue the lag spike at the very beginning. Please don't crash. And we're good. We're off to a good start here. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, and we've got the recon vehicles moving forward first and foremost on the battlefield right now. Uh, yep, okay, and they are exploding big time. And here comes the uh, artillery fire from all those Hailfire droids, as well as uh, the super tanks. That is inbound right now, and the clashing of the two armies has begun in spades. Look at this, just the pure and utter destruction hitting the battlefield right now. I also think that a lot of the CIS tanks are faster than the Republic tanks, because most of them are speeders or hover tanks, whereas most of the Republic tanks have walking abilities and things like that. Uh, so I think that actually does make it so the CIS uh, bum rushes a little bit more than the Republic does, uh, which could explain some of what we saw in the last part of this battle. Either way, there's just flames and particle effects and laser fire all over this battlefield right now as it gets down and dirty. More fire coming in from those Hailfire droids uh, striking out against the uh, clones. I don't even see where that volley landed. I, I completely missed where that went, but oh well. Uh, we've got some dead tanks in the way back even for the Republic right now. ATT is moving forward. Saber tanks doing their best to uh, chop down some of these CIS vehicles here. The reinforced CIS is certainly making a bit of a difference here. Oh, there we go. There's some of that artillery hitting the back for the droids this time. I think the increased Hellfire droids is definitely helping them out a solid bit. Uh, snail tank moving on forward here. It's getting hit by a lot of incoming Republic fire, man. Ooh, and this hover tank right here is a little bit stuck, but he's still able to shoot, so he's getting some rounds off on some of the uh, droid uh, defenders right here. Here's a fully functional ATTE riding on into battle. Oh, I love the ATTE, man. It's so cool. It is dwarfed, by the way, by the turbo tanks. Turbo tanks are so big, and there's even a bigger model in this mod, but I didn't use it here because uh, it was too big, and I think it would have lagged the battle a little too much. But there is an even bigger version of that uh, turbo tank in the mod that we could have put in this game, uh, which I think would have just been absolute anarchy. It would have been crazy, uh, but I think too laggy, and uh, sometimes when you reach lag, lag lag capabilities such as that, it actually just ends up ruining the battle a little bit. Ah, there goes the gunner of this ATTE. It was fully functioning for a good bit there, but did end up going down. Uh, Republic has taken out, it seems like, most of the Hellfire droids at this point. A lot of the AATs have also blown up. Um, a lot of the droids have actually gotten out of their tanks. We're seeing tank crew members uh, throughout the battlefield, which is kind of crazy. Look at this tank graveyard, baby. Holy cow. Um, droids have also taken out most of the Saber tanks for the Republic here. Um, they've also taken out most of the Top Gunners for the ATTs, weakening them considerably. In addition to that, uh, a lot of the ATXTs are down for the count. I'd say things are looking fairly even on the battlefield, all things considered right now. 
Uh, we've still got a few Republic tanks over here, fully functioning and firing on in here. Oh yeah, this is the UTAT that has the mortar in the back, which is kind of crazy. Pretty cool. Not sure if the mortar is actually going to do anything in this, but it's still cool to have involved. <laughs> you know, maybe it'll pop some mortar shots up. Who knows? Uh, there's a few uh, clone troopers down here. They've got their DC-15As out. They're just chilling, hoping that uh, one of the Republic vehicles might pick them back up and, they, you know, take them on board or something along those lines. I, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing back there, but, you know, <laughs> I, I hope they're okay, dude. Either way, it does seem like the droids are once again at a deficit in terms of numbers. If you look at the top left at the minimap, red are clone troopers and blue are droids. And right now, there's really not a lot of uh, battle droid units left alive, and there's still a lot of clone trooper units left alive. Um, despite the droids outnumbering the clones like 3 to 1 or something along those lines, they're still not able to quite get a grip on this battlefield, and I think that really just shows the prowess of the clone trooper units. Uh, the clones have lost a considerable number of their units here, but they're just so powerful that they're able to take out the droids at such a crazy exponential rate uh, that it's just, it's so hard for the droids to clap back with. Let's go to fast speed here for a little bit and just see if anything interesting really happens here. Clones kind of coming forward, droids uh, in their graveyard either stuck or damaged enough that they can't really move and the clones are just kind of head hunting right now, trying to hunt down the last remaining of the droids. For some reason, yeah, these home, um, homing droids are still alive and not really shot at. There, there's got to be some sort of glitch with those homing droids. Not totally sure. Well, this one did die over here, so I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence that they're the ones that keep on living till the very end, or maybe not. I have no idea. Um, either way, there's not really many of them left either way. Um, it's just kind of a couple of random droids over here that are left alive. Um, I, I think we are going to call this a Republic victory. They have all these turbo tanks back here. They've got a bunch of ATTEs back here, Saber tanks back here. UTATs back here, etc, etc. The droids really just have like three homing droids back here that for some reason are a little bit glitched in this mod and will not get shot at by the Republic. Uh, either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you'd like to see more crazy videos like this in the future. All right, guys. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.